Reuniting viewers with their loved ones has been, uh, who've been stationed overseas has been a highlight of hosting this show. And here's what happened when we surprised a nurse named Mora with her boyfriend, Noah. So I want to read uh, one of the letters that I've gotten. The Good morning, Miss Ellen. My name is Noah Copeland, and I'm in the United States Navy. My beautiful girlfriend, Mora, watches your show every day, and I know that you're the reason that she's been able to get through this deployment. So you moved to San Diego, and then he got deployed pretty much right away, right? He went into work on a Friday, and they were like, you are going on Sunday. So he had two, two days to pack up his whole life, and he's been gone for over a year right now. It's really sad. All right, well, he said he wanted you to be at my birthday show, right? So bring Mara the tickets to the birthday show. What? Yes! <laughs> Ago. Can you believe that was no! three years ago? Oh, oh my no. God, I can't believe it's yeah. been that long. And you were just <laughs> dating like then, and now you're engaged? Yes, yes we are. So so are. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How did that happen, and how long have you been engaged? Yeah, um, so, I mean, you gave us that awesome trip to Hawaii, and it was literally, like, the best trip of our life, and to make it even better, Noah proposed. <laughs> yeah. I, I used all the, the money I was gifted from the Valentine's Day special, and... Luckily, I was able to pick a beautiful ring and ask her father for permission, and he granted it, and I proposed on the beach in Hawaii. So it was, it was a beautiful time. That's fantastic. And we were talking about then that y'all spent a long time apart right when you, you know, got together. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, you were apart for a year and a half? Yeah, something like that. So Noah was stationed overseas, and um, I was here, obviously, um, um, working in my floor um, in the hospital is a COVID floor, so we were totally isolated over like the past over a year. We have only seen each other for two weeks, so right. two it weeks was, during uh, that entire time. During that, the whole entire year, so there's a lot of FaceTime dates. There's a lot of just encouraging her to keep her spirits up, take every task at one at one at a time. And I was her soundboard, just being far away. I, I couldn't love on her, I couldn't hold her, couldn't kiss her, couldn't make her tell her that her day would be better tomorrow. But FaceTime was our was our ultimate. Wow. I mean, that's a lot to, to withstand that. Um, and so when is the wedding? Um, so originally it was supposed to be April 3rd, 2021. Um, Which is 4321. Yeah. Just <laughs> count down to yep. Copeland, I my like last it. name. But obviously, go ahead. Yeah, so we, we postponed just because of COVID. And he was he was stuck overseas, and he wasn't going to even be able to make it. So, so now there's no date. Uh, July 2nd. 2022, fingers okay. crossed. All right. <laughs> um, and so what's weird is that, you know, our producer, Nicole, after the show, she became really good friends, and she's even going to be a bridesmaid in your wedding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> she, I mean, I don't think we should wait. Hey, hey Nicole. Yeah, it feels like, I mean, she's she's in the bridesmaid's dress. That's the one you picked out, right? Yes. All right, so she's in it, and uh, and we're here, and I don't think we should wait. And, I mean, the only thing that's missing is the families. to push their wedding back because of Noah's work in the Navy, so I'm going to marry them now. And uh, I don't mean the th three of us. I'm not going to. The two of them are getting married. I'm going to officiate. OK, so thanks to the internet earlier today, I am now the ordained minister. I also spent two hours watching cat videos. They're cute. Oh. OK. I love cats. Me too. They're so adorable. All right, um, I don't know what your religious affiliation is, but don't worry. This is a, the book I'm holding is not a Bible. It's, it's my best-selling memoir. Seriously, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's get started. Dearly beloved, 
We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Actually, that's not true. We're gathered here for my show, but we're also doing a wedding. I know this is a surprise to both of you, so I went ahead and I prepared, prepared uh, vows for both of you. So, Noah, here's yours. Thank you. Okay, Noah, you can start. Morn, Mora, you are as beautiful as Ellen. Yes, okay. <laughs> that was nice of you to say. <laughs> Mora, go ahead. Noah, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, even though men are gross and icky. <laughs> also, I'm as beautiful as Ellen. <laughs> no, I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, now it's time for the rings. Can we get the rings? Oh, my friends at K Jewelers were nice enough to gift you with the oh! brilliant Diamond Leo <laughs> wedding bands. Oh. Thank you. All right, go ahead and put those on. They're beautiful, and that's because K is the number one jeweler retailer in America. And let's not forget, every kiss begins with K. <laughs> Let's move on to the serious part. Noah, do you take Mara to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Mara, do you take Noah to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. If anyone has, uh, has reason, these two should not wet. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> it's very rude to speak up during someone's wedding. Plus, you don't even know them. <laughs> All right, by the power vested in me under the laws of 10MinuteOrdainMinister.com, I now pronounce your husband and wife. You may now kiss. <laughs> We want to give you a wedding gift. K Jewelers is honored to be a part of your love story and every kiss to come, and they want to send you on your dream honeymoon and a check for $10,000. <laughs> 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 oh my God! <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you.